Huh. So this is heaven. A lot darker than I thought it would be. Where's Jesus? Uh, Mother, do you truly believe the Stellaron's promise? It summoned the blizzard beyond our walls and opened the door of the Fragmentum. It destroyed our civilization. It... And yet... The crime of our ancestors was their... Inability to embrace that destruction sooner. You have got to be... God, is that a catchphrase at this point for me? <laughs> what? From the moment those intruders descended from beyond the sky, this world was handed a death sentence. But the Stellaron has reserved for us a thread of hope. There is a price to pay for new life, wiping away every decaying vestige of the old world, renouncing the meaningless and lingering struggle. This is the price the Stellaron demands. When the promise is fulfilled, Branya, no longer will we have to squander our lives guarding this wasteland. You and I will witness the new world rise from the ruins. It's never gonna happen. No. That thing got like three, four miles. You can't trust a damn thing it says. Oh, relic farming. Well, I can see where this is going. Do you still remember those dreams you mentioned to us? You talk about the pom pom and hook? You're wide awake right now, but I need you to try. See if you can recall the voice you heard. I can already hear the screams of pom pom now. Danger. Danger. Whoa. Well, it would appear we're in danger. This is merely speculation, but perhaps the voice you heard is the Stellaron somehow conveying information to Kokolia. Oh, the one in your body is resonating with the Stellaron on this world. Huh? You mean that Stellarons can communicate? I've never heard that before. Well. There's never been a human that could accommodate a Stellaron in their body. Wait a minute, we're already detected? Damn, I ratted myself out. Looks like another completely new monster. Nah, give me the mirror maidens. This is freaky. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, I got it now. <laughs> yeah. Not this time. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, that's the wrong one. Okay, as long as I'm not actually getting frozen. Jesus. Do I even need to play the game? <laughs> Just down two people with one person. <laughs> Oh, this ain't just an illusion. I guess it's safe to assume that Coco is never going to be a future character. Excuse me. Thou shalt not hurt my Clara. Frozen. Okay, that look. I'm kind of scared of this right now. Uh, God Lou. Where is God Lou? Please give me some safety. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. It didn't one-shot me. I was a little worried for a second. God, it really sucks that when Clara's frozen, you can't count her as far uh, Can we just take her out before she does this? Two percent. Hit! Somebody? Man? Thank you. Use utensils, everybody. <laughs> Wherever they lead, it must be the end of the journey. I don't want to get to the end so soon. I want my journey to go on forever. This means that Branya is up ahead. And so is the fate of the overworld and the underworld. It's all in our hands. Oh, that's no pressure. <sighs> Strange. I thought I'd feel nervous or afraid, but I don't. The only feeling I have that none of this seems real. Is this a common occurrence, March? Not always. Sometimes 
brings it to happier conclusion. I'm guessing I'm the end of that. I was about to bore you all with my gloomy reflections, but on second thought, not today. Adventuring with you guys by my side has made me feel like no obstacle is too big. And we love you too, Seely. And of course, when I skip, I finally get my Seely. <laughs> well, Sushong, it was a good run. I wonder how long it's gonna take for me to get Bronya. Something feels wrong not having Seely and Bronya together. <laughs> Want to spar? Please break me. My neck is yours. The team must include the trailblazer. Ah, oh, come on. Okay. Sorry, Clara. I tried. No. Do not resist, Branya. Accept the common will. Is this a cult now? No. I don't want this. Look. Upon their promised future, Branya. A world without poverty, without cold, without suffering. A world where people no longer have to pray like prisoners for survival. A world that we can guard for all eternity. 700 years ago, we tried and fought unceasingly, believing that the radiance of human nature could shepherd us towards rejuvenation and to what end a crushing defeat why when faced with irrefutable strength is our first thought always to resist to cover our ears instead of hearing the call it is the conceit and cowardice entrenched in the depths of human nature. So difficult to face. Cast them aside. Break free of the chains that bind you. The Stellaron will lead humanity to evolve, and they will. I've heard enough of this. Your brainwashing ends here, you witch! Zila? You came. I thought the blizzards had entombed you. Huh. You wish. We're not going down before you do. Real shit. Branya, I don't know what happened between you and them. Even if you explained it to me, I probably wouldn't understand all the crazy details. But there are two things I do know. One, these guys have come through hell to get here, to seal this Stellaron thing. And two, do you remember what I said? If anything happened to you, I'd save you. Dude, I pulled Seely at the absolute perfect moment on God. Do you understand? Even if the damage is done, even if you've completely forgotten our promise, then, then I'm just gonna have to knock you out and bring you back myself. The world needs you, bro, bro. All of you. <laughs> Finished? I think I've given you long enough to bid farewell. It's time I told you my other reason for bringing you here. Well, huh? I want to witness your choice. I have told you all the truths there are to tell. The deal with the Stellaron, the wish I made to it. There are no more secrets between us. Many years ago, the voice of the Stellaron sounded in my ears for the first time. I was no different from the previous generations of Guardians. I withdrew, refused to hear. I was as you are now, bitterly defending the Architect's so-called preservation. My conviction was once steadfast, unparalleled. Until a sudden change arrived and threw everything into chaos. Another choice appeared before me. A subversion of the old order. And the welcoming of a new world. Yeah, she's a cultist. And compared to the illusory, ever more distant preservation, this was so... tangible. 
I have agonized, long agonized, over how to convey all this to you. Inevitably, the promise tomorrow will transpire. But if you are not there beside me to watch over that new world, I would descend into torment, Branya. Enduring torment. The evil stepmother makes it all about her. How predictable. <laughs> Perhaps I should be thanking you, outsiders. The pressure you have imposed has at long last compelled me to confront my final weakness. Branya, throughout your life, I have never forced you to submit to my will. You have always, will always have a choice. As then, so now. Choose, my daughter. <clears throat> Madame Kokoria, I am grateful to you for raising me and for allowing me the privilege of choice. But I... I am sorry, Mother. On this, our final occasion, I cannot stand with you. Hmm. You say that conceit and cowardice lie in the depths of human nature. <laughs> Perhaps you're right. Desperation sheds light on the darkest recesses of the heart. What about those simply struggling for survival, fighting for something better? I've witnessed their light on the front lines, in the underworld, in places you have overlooked. Our ancestors built this city, striving in the bitter snow to prolong our civilization. Even if this world is doomed to fall apart, we should allow humanity to pave the way to its final outcome. Not hand over our fate to the seed of ruin. Jesus. We are Guardian's mother. Chosen from among the masses. Our duty is to preserve the world built by humanity. We are not gods. We are not arbiters. You seek to crush human nature underfoot while masquerading as an, as an arbiter and a god. I cannot let you. So, this is your choice. I understand, Branya. Pity. Such a pity that you will never see that resplendent world. Ohio. Unable to free yourself from the shackles of your mind. You know what? You were supposed to be the mother of the new world. God, why did I get death note vibes from that? is sealed. Its future will unfold in our hands. And you will become the foundation of the new world. You must break the old to build the new. <laughs> the Supreme Guardian commands you. Rise, engine of creation! <laughs> Give me money to watch yourself. What the hell is this? A Gundam? She had a Gundam the whole time? Wait a minute. Is there no way to cancel ults after you cast them? Oh, that's kind of disappointing, actually. Ooh, my first Sealy ult. Let's go! Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. <laughs> Holy crap. And then she keeps attacking. <laughs> the king she has nine stacks of gauge. Now you better get nine stacks of ceiling, bro. Oh, again! Illusions of the past. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no illusion. I can see clearly now. Oh shit! Oh. Ding 
did that. Uh, Himeko, it's Himeko. Ah -ha. Oh, how I have missed this voice. You finally spared a thought for us. What are you talking about? Well, then I've been up on this thing you the time. You've got quite the trailblazing vision on your hands. So, how did that guy work? Or, importantly, how do you stop him from working? Over to you guys, I guess. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Oh, I love these cutscenes. Grab hold of me. Oh hell no, get your fingers away from me. Damn, bro, this MC is flexible. Wait, one on one? Really? Behold, Solo combat, Agni Kai? Whoa! <laughs> Listen to the power surge, sing! You're doing a lot more than singing. The Stellaron's promise is the only hope for this world. Just as it dispelled the antimatter legion seven hundred years ago. So too will it wipe you from the face of this world. How the hell are you supposed to solo Stay combat alert. this? Bro, she got like three health bars. Yeah, this ain't gonna work. Let's go. Can I get a plot device? And I get some help from somebody? <laughs> Humanity. So weak and foolish. Always overestimating their abilities. Let me bestow upon you despair. <laughs> Bro, what? What? No. What? <laughs> Help me. Is this? The universe? But I was fighting Kakolia. Why am I here? We're dead. The last time I came here, I drew Nanook's gaze. Could it be? Ooh. Huh. So this is heaven. A lot darker than I thought it would be. Where's Jesus? The city is drowning in tears. The power of the preservation Hell no, she was gonna feed you to cancer. Yes. But we have no right to judge. But I do. The fragmentum had been expanding for the past 700 years. There is no faith nor wealth left for our successors. Only despair. No, can we ask about that? What you mean? You. You are but a stranger to us. And yet, you seek to bond your destiny to ours. So be it. What is there to lose when so much has already been lost? Touch the light of the amber, trailblazer. See if your will can attract their gaze. 
Whoa, wait, 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 what is that? Whoa, what am I walking towards? Is that a spear? Wait, are we doing down now? <laughs> Oh. Oh, fuck. I'm alive. Wait, am I getting a new element? Oh, fuck yes. It can't be. Oh, yes. Preservation has made its choice. Nothing of the flight of this world. Nothing of the wait for its final end. Damn, I can't even hear you over this music. Wait, I need to see the new me. Let's skip all this. Enough of you words with oh. <laughs> But I got defense. Gee, all that stuff. Get that darkness. I want to see the full effect. Okay, let's get through. I want to see the animations. Lance at the ready. Blast. Magma will is accumulated when Himiko's chair is attacked. If you four stacks of magma will to use enhanced basic attack. Ooh, wait, no, no, can let me see the ult, no, I need to see the ult, no. Oh, fuck yes, dude. Wait, a cutscene. The engine of creation is out of our user to destroy the, okay, do something. It's time. Is it break? <laughs> the only redemption. Ooh, so what are we going to do about that now? The power of the Celeron is with me! You are but cinders of the old world, soon to become ashes! Translates into hope! What? Oh! Oh, uh, now nah, I got something to say about that. <laughs> Why are all guys' animations so good? And she is dead. Dead. No more. That's why I never trust the milk for no more. Expedition. We made it! But, uh, what are we gonna do with the Stellaron? It's usually Mr. Yang who handles it. I've informed Himiko and Mr. Yang already. They'll steal the Stellaron. Can I do it? Nice! The crisis on this world is basically over, right? Hmm. Hmm? <sighs> the storm still rages on. Now that the Stellaron is sealed, the Eternal Freeze will slowly recede. Fragmentum won't aggressively expand anymore, but nor will it disappear. Eurelo 6 has a chance to return to life, but it will take time. 
It will depend on the efforts of the people here. Thank you. All of you. Anything for you, bro, bro. Can't think of anything funny to say. <laughs> Was this meant for me? Oh. <laughs> Start thinking. We're going to need all the humor we can get. At least the biggest turtle is behind us. There is still much to do. The people will have felt the effects of the engine of creation. There are so many questions to answer, so many truths to reveal. I don't know whether I can get the people to accept all this. We gotta tell the truth. We can't cover this up. Come on now, people. Can I really do that? You can. Tell everyone about Mother's true motives. About a lie perpetrated for 700 years. Hmm. No. no. No way. No? Zila. I... I don't know how to explain it. But I don't think there's any other way. In the underworld, we tell the kids, things will be better tomorrow. Everyone knows it's a lie. But it gets them to sleep with some hope. Can you imagine the consequences if we told the people what happened here? They'd be devastated. If we can't trust the Guardians, who or what can we trust? Hmm, I suppose. Could create chaos. Mother died to preserve Bellabog. What? The visitors from beyond the sky told her the secret of the Stellaron. She knew that Alyssa Rand, the first Supreme Guardian, had failed to destroy it. And yet, she decided to challenge its power. A, a power beyond human comprehension. Supreme Guardian Kokolia sacrificed herself to dispel the dark clouds enveloping this city. From here on out, that's the truth the world will hear. What do you think? It keeps the hope of preservation alive, at least. Whatever works, I suppose. It's logical and hard to disprove. Why do we have to lie? I'm abstaining. I hmm. like telling the truth. But I get what you're trying to do. See, me and March are always on the same wavelength. Maybe give me a chance to do some showboating. I'll be sure to make it up to you. What's that mean? Was that a yes? For many people, Mother was an outstanding guardian. The whole truth will live on in my mind. All the mistakes. Madness, evil. Dreams therein. I will be the one to carry that burden. Now, I must take over the duties of the Supreme Guardian. And discard my naive fantasies. I'm sorry, Seal. Please protect this secret with me till the end of our lives. Oh, say no more. I know what to do. Thank you. Well then, as promised, let's start rebuilding the bridge between the overworld and the underworld. The best ending. The best ending possible. So Wanna tell us what happened back there? Don't think you can just reappear on the battlefield with a cool weapon in your hands and skip the story. That's the second time I've sacrificed myself for you, Marge. <laughs> um, thank you. That's not answering my question, though. But it does help my emotional state. What? See, they're all in. What? They're all there. Wow. What the fuck? Clever. What? Look at her little emojis! Oh my god! <laughs> you have visitors, Clara. Oh, it's the variables. Really? <laughs> so that's what I'm reduced to? Nice haircuts, Farg, what? Wow! Are you trying to start another fight? Brastella's just evil. There was a huge shaking just now coming up through the ground. Mr. Sparg said it must have been recalculating conclusion engine of creation 
97.66% probability. Wait, so you know about this? The engine of creation was an immense construction machine created by the architects. It was not built to fight. Well, whatever. We won. Thanks to that giant robot, we were finally able to take care of the Stellaron. And Branya made a promise. The Underworld and the Overworld will soon be reunited. Which means that you, Sparog, um, you won't have to worry about preserving the Underworld for the time being. March, everyone, thank you so much. Oh. I wasn't sure you guys would be able to do it, but... What? What do you mean? But now, Mr. Sparog, what do you say? You guys said you were travelers from other worlds, right? I want to be just like you. One day, I'm gonna go traveling to faraway places and meet new friends. I mean, Clara, you've already been carrying my team the whole game so far. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? Whoa! <laughs> Look at the big blue ceiling! Ooh! <laughs> That's not a ceiling, Hook. That's the sky. <laughs> oh, man. So this is the overworld? The air here smells... Different. <laughs> Less rust and geomero particles floating around. Take a deep breath, children. This is what freedom tastes like. I never thought I'd live to see the administrative district again. All those years. We've been through a lot, Natasha. <sighs> You're right, Oleg. I'm gonna cry if you cry, Tasha. Don't do it. It's funny. The moment I boarded the cable car, my mind was filled with everything I wanted to do on the surface. But now, I just want to sit down, zone out, and watch the people coming and going. And let the day just pass me by. <laughs> Damn, Tasha, how old are you again? You're talking that granny talk. Oh my god, finally. <laughs> the last chest of the area. I've been waiting all these years to get 10 out of 10 here. People of Bellabar, hear me. Ooh. Today we gather here to celebrate our victory, but it was a sacrifice made by a mighty guardian that delivered us this opportunity. She dispelled an evil that cost us 700 years of suffering. And in the process, she paid the ultimate price. Damn, Brum Brum look majestic as fuck. The sacrifice of Kokolia Rand ushers in a new chapter. The blizzard beyond the walls will die away, and the offensives of our Silvermane guards will begin to contain the Fragmentum's advance. In the far north, I witnessed with my own eyes the struggle between the late Supreme Guardian and the evil power that sought to destroy us. In her last moments, the Supreme Guardian told me her greatest regret. The Order to seal off the underworld from the overworld. With the passage of time, she gradually came to realize the consequences of that decision. Although tortured with guilt, she could not undo the damage. Yeah, she was happy to do In it. In her final moments, she wanted us to mark the Stellaron's end by reuniting Bellabog. Overworlders and underworlders must embrace the dawn of a new age. Together. Together. People of the underworld. I dare not ask for your forgiveness. I now know the reality of your decade of suffering. Well, March's straw is the real reward. But I want us to work together. We know that without your perseverance and hard work, Bellabog will not recover its former glory. And the seed of civilization will not be preserved. And on that note, I'd like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to a few guests of the city. Most of you were not aware of their arrival. But it is thanks to them that our world now flourishes with hope. They made me realize that while we remain focused on preserving the ground beneath our feet, we should not forget to look up into the sky. I firmly believe that with the determination of everyone, our world, the world the Trailblazers call Yarilo Six, will no longer be alone among the stars. 
But before we accomplish that goal, I humbly ask you to follow me into the future. I, Branya Rand, the 19th Guardian of Bellabog, hereby take my oath. Lady Branya! Lady Branya! Long live Bellabog! If only I actually had Branya. Branya, we're back! March, Don Hung, and you. It's wonderful you made it to the address. Sorry, I know the invitation was very last minute. But I needed to get the news out as soon as possible. The longer people waited, the more rumors started to swirl. The situation risked spinning out of control. Hey, where's your girl at, man? Oh, she was there. She just made sure no one could see her. No one except you. Azealia is still new to the vastness of the overworld. She feels uncomfortable in a big crowd. I'll help her adjust to life here. I bet you will. That was some speech, Branya. If I had to talk like that in front of a huge crowd, I'd be shaking head to toe. It was all just a bunch of palatable lies. I hope you never have a similar experience, March. Hey, I've done my chair's duty. It's up to you now, Bonya. I prefer to be honest with the people. But I also want to preserve their hope. Don Hung, wanna talk about Mr. Yang's findings? Allow me to explain. Which means... The Fragmentum has already taken root by this point. Even though the Stellaron is sealed, we won't be able to reverse the damage immediately. I failed you. No, no need for apologies. You've gone out of your way to save this world. You nearly lost your life. I have no right to ask for more. Besides, I agree with Mr. Yang. Ultimately, the fate of Bellabog is in the hands of its own people. Hey, the train gang gonna help you. In that case, as a leader, I must give you a promise of the same weight. You calling me fat? We will hold out with everything we have until the day you trailblazers return. Even if it takes another 700 years, the children of Yarilo 6 will look up to the sky with hope in their hearts. So long, my friends. May the preservation bless your journey. But, but I don't want to say goodbye. Congrats! That was one heck of a first trailblazing expedition. Worth celebrating, I'd say. On a scale of one to five, how would you rate this journey? Yeah, I like this. Five. Two and a half? What? What? That run of the mill, huh? Hmm. My scoring criteria are different from yours. <sighs> anyway. Oh my we god, people, please. You. Any thoughts you want to share? I'm taking my ninja ass to sleep. Wait, what? No way. We're about to leave, and I've hardly got any decent photos. Man, I'm tired, March. Here we are. Everwinter Monument. Photo time. Oh, Pela and Hook are here, too. Let's make sure we get them in the background. Wait a minute, Pela's a character? Who's there? Didn't your parents tell you to knock before? They're dead. I mean, hello, Serval. <laughs> it's you three. Oh, come on in. I was just talking to Clara about you. How have you been, big sister? Miss Serval's workshop is amazing. There are all kinds of things. I like it here a lot. Miss Serval? Clara is such a well-mannered kid. Meanwhile, the architect's children are still calling me auntie and making me feel old. So about that job offer. Hey, that's not your line. We're here to take a photo, remember? Damn it, March. Not again. Wow, that's pretty great. I wish the photographers at my shows had your skills. Uh-huh. Am I really that short? <laughs> I thought... We all think things, Clara, but it's okay to dream. At the end of your journey... <gasps> All that perplexes you and troubles you will resolve. <laughs> oh, it was a close thing, all right. Good thing it dawned on me. Hey, Sampo doesn't have to be a protagonist, right? <laughs> the likes of us are better suited to, uh, shadowy comic relief, huh? Turns out the Astral Express crew is more fun than I expected. <laughs> you liked it? Really? 
told you so. Who the hell are you talking to? No, no. I'm in no hurry to leave. <laughs> uh, what? Oh, Epsilon? <laughs> what fun can you get out of a giant vanity fair like that? <laughs> True happiness always entails the manifestation of the dignity of mankind. Now that's a quote I live by. Well, bye for now. Send my regards to the guys and girls in the tavern. Oh, and don't forget to say that Sempo Kaski will catch them for the next one. Time to make my curtain call. Who in the hell is he talking? What is this all about? To you, my dear audience. I dedicate my performance. I wonder, did I bring a little more joy into your lives? No, not at all. You don't have to answer that. But if the answer is no, then you'll break my heart. Good. <laughs> priorities? What do you mean? Are you saying rebuilding the underworld isn't one of your priorities? Mm -hmm. Of course not. I'm just saying we have limited assets and we need new parameters. Assets, parameters. You sure love your fancy words. It's all going to hell. Get it. Leave it to me. I'll go down myself. <sighs> Come on, Sila. I won't leave you to Look, Ronya. <sighs> There'll be plenty of difficulties waiting for them, right? Oh. Yes. Their future is filled with even more uncertainty than ours. But we will prevail here, even if it means arguments like this go on forever. <laughs> they won't go on forever if I win them. Really silly. <laughs> Welcome home, you three. I'm back. Himeko, Mr. Yang, Team Trailblaze back from duty. Mission one accomplished. Although Welt and I didn't get the chance to go with you, I can tell you worked hard to bring things back to normal. Well done, everybody. And especially you. Hmm. I heard a lot of good things about you. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I did good. Let me get an evaluation. I'd say it's a solid five stars. Hey, yes. Well, why do you always look so tired? The express crew tread upon the trailblaze. We travel between worlds like... A thread weaved into the life stories of others. The universe is vast beyond our imagination. It's a miracle that our paths converge. The fact that we get to know and travel with each other can only be seen as the design of destiny. Thank you for becoming our companion. I'll do my best to answer any questions you may have. Hey, you're welcome. I mean, the alternative was the bad ending if you simp for her to. And all right, my ninjas, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making it for your ass, man. The Bellabog arc is over. I like that. I thought that was a really strong opening for the game, man. One day I'll get my Himikoto after I get my 300 pulls of the standard banner. Subscribe to become one of my ninjas. Join to become one of my Anbu and I will see you in the next video. Ninjas out.